What up guys, this is Monkey Figure Reviews and today we are going to unbox the King of Artists Monkey D. Luffy Wano Kuni version 2 figure by Benpresto slash Bandai Spirits. We can also call this the Onigashima Luffy because he's wearing his new Onigashima outfit. And we'll take a quick look at the box. This is a very standard King of Artists design. We have those big block letters at the back spelling out the series name. We have a picture of the figure we are going to get inside. Character name, Rampresto logo, Bandai Spirits logo. Side view, this is how it looks like. Another image of Luffy in black and white. The other side, it looks similar. This is the back, looks almost the same as the front, just that the picture is bigger, it is zoomed in. At the top, we have the white toy sticker to prove its authenticity. As you can see, the box is brand new and sealed and we are going to do the unboxing together. Let's go! We have a total of 4 pieces for this figure. We have Luffy's upper body, his lower body, his arm and a supporting stand. This is how the figure looks like when put together. First impressions, I gotta say he looks really really good. The overall quality seems similar to the King of Artists Roger, uh, which is right along the quality of the earlier King of Artists figures. I think those in my opinion are a lot better than the recent ones that we have gotten. I'm not sure how it compares to Odin and maybe the King of Artists, Luffy and Zoro, the Wano versions, the earlier ones. In my opinion, based on pictures, based on videos that I've saw, those were not on the same levels as these guys. Back to this Luffy, I think he looks great. It is straight up from the volume cover of the manga. The only thing that I don't like is obviously the ugly supporting stand. I think it steals attention away from the rest of the figure. I kind of wish that he has those acrylic supports, the tiny ones that the POPs have. And you know, so it's just not that much of an eyesore. It's hidden at the back and not very obvious. Let us take a closer look at the figure starting from the head sculpt. Character likeness, I think it is good. Not much issues as far as I can tell. I don't think it deviated a lot from the source material. Uh, painting on the eyes, the eyebrows, the scar, I think those are good. The mouth doesn't look weird. Uh, unlike some other figures, I think overall this is a very good face sculpt. Other than that, we have details maybe on the ear. This side, it is more obvious. Decent sculpting over there. Here, harder to see for the camera. And the rest of it is just the hair, which actually has a bit of gloss on it, I think due to the PVC material they use. So it captures a bit of shine if there's a light source. I think you can tell that quite obviously from the video. Other than that, I think the finishing is very clean. I really appreciate that. And I think the way they divided the hair strands, you can just see that for yourself. Uh, the way the hair rests and flows to give it a bit of motion, it is good. The straw hat's detail is also pretty decent, but maybe not the best as far as we have seen. We have seen definitely a better quality ones out there. You can see the string over here. And this is the, the underside of the heads with those grooves and lines added to represent the straw material. This is the back and once again they always add this damage and repair done by Buggy and Nami respectively. So some law accurate details there. Overall I don't see any shading and shadowing around the heads but I also wouldn't flip a table over them not doing it. Moving on to the body you can see a very distinct seam line from the face to the neck different colors as well for the skin but it is not very obvious especially from the front so it is okay you also see the string of the straw hats here at the front for his body we can see a bit of his muscles the chest muscles as well as the abs and of course the big scar across the middle i think the overall details on them are quite good style wise this is very distinctive king of artists it's kind of signature style and sculpting. You have all these lines kind of itched onto uh, the surface to create some texturing on the figure. It is the same on the body and also on the clothing. Here we have some of his golden painted buttons. We also have a lot of natural folds and creases around the outfit. 
the shirts, the pants, I think you can see them all quite clearly yourself. There isn't a lot of shading around the top, or if there is, it is very, very little. It is so difficult to tell, especially with natural light coming in. Over here, you get a good look on his right arm. The transition of colours from uh, skin colour to this haki colour, which is a very, very deep red maroon kind of colour. Uh, it is not black at all. If you take a comparison between this and the coat's colour, there's actually a difference. This is a very deep, dark maroon. And I'll try to show you guys the fingernails if I can. It is sculpted on, the details are there. And of course, we have those blood vessels, uh, those veins popping out as well. Great details. Similarly, the other hand, the lines around the palm, the fingers, they are all there. The fingernails. For the pants, there's a more distinct shadowing around here. I think you should be able to see them. It is much darker around this middle area compared to the rest of them. The creases, I have mentioned them before. I think you can take a look yourself. Towards the fur part of his pants, we have it sculpted like this. Uh, it's kind of like a dirty white colour. These are his legs. You can see the muscles on them, how they are sculpted around the calf and uh, around the knee, the bone structure. And towards the bottom, we have his signature sandals, black straps, uh, toe, the toenails, details are there. And at the bottom, we also have those texturing, similar to how it is on the straw hat. Same for this leg. Luffy's coat is totally black in colour. There's no shading, uh, no shadowing around it at all. So the main thing, the main feature that you can see is just the creases, especially for the sleeves around here. And uh, the other flying sleeve coming upwards. And this is the bottom. All this is to show the motion of him moving his arm back and ready to attack. The height of this figure from the bottom of his feet to the top of his head that is around 19 and a half cm, almost 7 and 3 quarter inches. Here I have taken out other Luffy figures from various series. This is the Portrait of Pirates Sailing Again version 2. This is the Masterlies Best Edition. And this is of course the Grandista Luffy. So you guys can look across the board and do your own comparisons with the skills and uh, the sizes of the Luffy figures. The POP is of course the smallest with the 1 to 8 scale. These two are very similar, in fact I would say they are the same scale and size. And this is usually around also the same for the Master Stars piece, the Flag Diamond Ship, Glitter and Glamour, Glitter and Brave. So you can take a comparison from here. And the Grandista will of course be too big if you want to scale with the King of Artists. Here I have the Maximatic Luffy version 1 and here we have the first King of Artists Luffy figure. Usually I'll tell people that these two guys, they are more around uh, the Grandista scale, so they don't really do well with the King of Artists series. One last Luffy figure and this is the Better Record Collection Luffy. Uh, one of my favourites of him in the Wano Kuni outfits, but of course, scale-wise, you can tell that he's much smaller. He is closer to the P.O.P. than to the King of Artists. Here I have the King of Artists Roger and King of Artists Special Version Ace. And you can tell even though they are from the same series, there is still some varying scales and sizes across the board. I would say that these two guys are much closer to the POPs uh, than to their own series, the King of Artists, uh, the older ones for example like the Sanji, uh, the Zoro, the Law, those are much more bigger. Uh, but there's nothing wrong, I think, uh, if you really want to display them, match it up like this, I think it is still okay. If you look closely, you might think for example, I think Luffy is a bit bigger than Ace, it's a bit bigger than Roger, but if you don't really care that much, you don't mind the little differences, I think stylistically they look great. One last bonus shot with the Masterlies Best Edition Zoro and Sanji, and I think this would definitely make for a good display too. Alright guys, that's all I have for this King of Artists Onigashima Luffy figure. All in all, I think that he is great. He's a fantastic figure of Luffy in this new outfit. So I would definitely recommend this to everyone out there. And the price is cheap, I think. I know it came out last year, so after markets now, it might have went up. 
but hopefully you can still get them for a good price if you still do not own him. My only complaints on the figure are the supporting stand and that maybe his arms and legs looks a bit skinny compared to the rest of his body. But other than that, I think it is good. It is good for the price and definitely will add value to your collection. Alright, as usual, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Uh, if you like this figure, if you have him or after watching this video, you want to get one. And if you like my video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share them with your friends. If you're new here, you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notifications button so you don't miss out on new videos like this. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.